Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the next bout here at Wild West Showdown 2014. We've got a good one here for you. We've got the Emerald City Roller Girls from Eugene taking on the Junction City Roller Dolls from Junction City, Colorado. I would love to introduce you tonight to the Junction City Roller Dolls, starting with Triple Zero Tic Tac Flow, 13 Mel Fister, 1986 Cherry Von Sin. 23, we've got Vulgar Vixen. At 253, Mayhem Miller. Number three, Slayer Cake. Number 310, Malibu Harpy. 329 is a Rolex. Number 338, we've got Beatrix. Number 49, Canadian Bacon. Number 603, Lady Shatterly. Number 777, Colonel Skirts. And number 821, Pickle. And HP Shovecraft, would you like to introduce to us the Emerald City Roller Girls? I would indeed. Emerald City Roller Girls, the Skates of Frenix. Number 10 is Genesis O'Sin. Number 11 is T Natural Roll. Number 123 is Psychotic Rage. Number 1771 is Gemini. 262 is Wonder Dread. 270 is Lady Bullseye. 462 is Pirate Booty. Number 51, and one of the team captains, is Coop. Number 7 is Ogden. Number 77 is Agent Orange. 828 is Zonan the Barbarian. 83 is Rex Havoc. 94 is Red Ruckus. And 96 is Boylan. These are the Emerald City Roller Girls Skates of Phrenix. Gear check is complete. We've got a last minute little powwow with the referees here, and we're just about ready to get underway. For those of you at home, our green shirts are Emerald City. Black will be Junction, Junction City. City. And Junction City are the train wrecks. I am H.P. Shovecraft, and I'm just thrilled to be here tonight with Mistress Mouth. I'm just tickled. Combination of intelligence and, and just spunk right to my right. She's just totally making my night right now, and we're hoping to spend some good time here with you. We're going to about 60 minutes on the clock, and so we're going to try to make sure that we're bringing you all the action from right here at the track. The house call is also the streaming call, so we will periodically refresh everyone that's checking in on colors and time and score. We're going to start right off here with Boylan on the line for Emerald City up against Pickle for Junction City. Both jammers getting a good jump. Uh, Boylan up there in that three wall. And she's getting some help on offense now by the Skates of Phrenix. Two to beat and grabbing lead jammer. Pickle, lead jammer for Junction City. Boylan now threw on her initial pass. Pickle gets knocked to the inside and decides to call off the jam. That was T natural roll with an excellent hit there for the Skates of Phrenix, preventing points from being picked up with a booty block right on the line, Mistress Mouth. Right on it. That's what that line is there for, I think. Or something. Exactly. Thanks for sharing my enthusiasm. I've had a full coffee, so this is going to be a good one. And once again, we've got 123 Psychotic Rage out there for Emerald City. This is her first jam tonight for the Skates of Phrenix, and she's got a three wall to contend with right there at the front of the pack, and she busts loose for lead jam roll ECRG. Malibu Harpy still hung up in the back, and she finally now just breaks through on her initial pass, and here comes Psychotic Rage up into the pack again, looking for an opening, going for the inside, up against Tic Tac Flow. And she decides to call it off, Psychotic Rage does. Timbuk, you... Coach for Emerald City calls it in from the sideline, letting her know to call it off. And it appears that two points were picked up. Make it three. So our early score, zero for Junction City and Black. Green Tops, Emerald City, three. We're down to 28-10 in this first half of play, Mr. Smouth. And we've got Beatrix on the jam line for Junction City up against 262. That is Wonder Dread for Emerald City. 
Beatrix picks up lead jammer for Junction City, and here comes Wonder Dread out of the pack as well. Wonder Dread doing a good job of slipping a block there to make her way out of the pack and sneaking through. I believe that's Beatrix picking up four points, and that'll be our first lead change of the bout, Mistress Mouth. Drink them up in the beer garden. As we get back to the action, Emerald City calling on number 11. That's T Natural Roll to wear the star, and she's out there against 821. That's Pickle for Junction City. T Natural Roll forcing the recycle on Pickle. She's trying to make her way out the front of the pack. She's up against a two wall of black shirts for Junction City. And she's really pushing the distance there. She makes her way out, and she's the lead jammer for the skates of Phrenix. Pickle still just now getting her way through on her initial pass. And here comes T Natural into the pack again, gets through, and quickly calls off the jam. She was very clear about what she had to do there. She called it off with emphasis. We have Junction City four, Black Shirts, Emerald City seven, and Green Tops, and it's 26-15 in the first half. Brisk so far. Very much. Boiling on the line for Emerald City up against Malibu Harpy for Junction City. It's good that you recognized her. Both jammers getting a start off the line. And as they go into turn one, some huge hits on both sides, recycled. That's Boylan that was recycled into the back of the pack and recycled again, so some good work there from Junction City. Malibu Harpy on her way to the penalty box for cutting the track. She will sit for a minute, think about what she's done. Getting a little busy over there in that penalty box. Coop doing a good job of walling off on the outside to open up a lane for Boylan. She is by for five. Junk, uh, Emerald City taking advantage of this early power jam opportunity. She gets knocked out of bounds by that three wall of Junction City blockers and decides to call off the jam. Three points for Boylan on that one. And let's talk Four about points. Sure Grip. SureGrip.com. SureGrip is leading manufacturer of high-end and recreational roller skates and roller skate accessories since 1937. SureGrip has been the foremost developer in roller skates, quad skate, inline skates, derby skates, hockey skates. Roller skate bearings and roller skate accessory technology made in the USA. SureGrip.com. Wonder Dread in the driver's seat of a power jam for Emerald City, making quick work of that two-man pack for Junction City. T Natural Roll doing an awesome job of sweeping to open up a wide lane on the inside for Wonder Dread. 26-2. That would be the distance of a marathon, and she is by for five as she starts this marathon jam. She does it one more time, and that's a, another grand slam for Emerald City, courtesy of Wonder Dread. 15 points on the board. And now it says 20. Might be a little lag here, but 20 points picked up so far for Wonder Dread on this jam. And she's through on the outside. That's another five. And Malibu Harpy back in the pack, but getting walled off. And that's Rex Havoc with a little love tap at the front there, Mistress Mouth. Yeah, she had to really work to get around that one. And Wonder Dread calls off the jam. A total of 29 points for Wonder Dread on that jam, taking Emerald City farther into the lead, 45-4 to 4 over Junction City. Once again, for those of you at home, black shirts are Junction City. Green shirts are Emerald City. We're down to 22.55 in our score. Mr. Smouth just shared. A 
coming off the power jam is Junction City, and they've called on 338 to be their jammer, which is Beatrix. Psychotic rage out there for the Skates of Frenix. Beatrix picks up lead jammer for Junction City. Meanwhile, Psychotic Rage still trying to work her way through the pack. She now breaks through, and she's done on her initial pass, just as Beatrix decides to call off the jam after picking up four points. Closing that gap a little bit. They all add up to something. T. Natural on the line for Emerald City, up against Pickle for Junction City. And T Natural not only wearing the star, but doing some good blocking to start this bout off. Little dancing on the line, and T Natural just goes over the top of a Junction City roller doll to make her way out for lead jammer Emerald City. Pickle now through on her initial pass as well. T Natural in that black wall and Lady Shatterly takes her out of bounds. It looks like three points awarded there, Mr. Smouth. That's right, and we are going to reset. Looks like they're sending Boylan out with the star helmet for Emerald City up against Malibu Harpy for Junction City. Want to remind everyone that we do have here the SmackShat.net. The SmackShack is Tacoma's first full roller derby retail store. Located on Mildred, the Smack Shack offers a wide array of products from skates to clothing. The Smack Shack has it all. It's the smackshack.net. And Malibu Harpy picks up lead jammer for Junction City. Both teams with a blocker in the penalty box. Malibu Harpy up into the pack again. We've got Boylan still trying on her initial pass, but she is going to be sent to the penalty box on a cutting the track penalty, and that's going to put Malibu Harpy on a power jam for Junction, Junction City. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of Junction City, it's time to make some noise! And if you're a fan of Emerald City, make some noise! Both sides loud, note to selves. Derby fans, loud, check, got it. Junction City sitting at 20, black tops, green shirts, Emerald City at 45. We're down to 1938 in this first half. Beatrix on the line in this power jam for Junction City. Boylan in the box for Emerald City, and it's a three wall. Rex Havoc at the back of that three wall, and she's bridging right now to try to give plenty of room to Ogden, who is the last line of defense for the Skates of Phoenix. Refs call a no pack, and they got to let her go. She's lead jammer, of course, in this power jam, and she's going to go right back at it again. Beatrix going down to one knee. She's out there in a dogfight with Ogden, and she makes her way through for five. And that narrows the gap, Mr. Smouth. T natural in the penalty box for direction of gameplay penalty. Referees are voguing in the middle of the track. It's awesome. 20 points between the two teams, and it looks like 821 is Pickle for Junction City. They are the train wrecks. That's not derogatory. That's, that's actually their name, Mr. Smouth. That's right. They chose that. And rightly they should because they are going to aim to wreck this Emerald City train. And just like that, Pickle picks up lead jammer for Junction City. Boylan back on the track. She's trying to work on that three wall at the front for Junction and she finds a seam on the inside of the track and makes her way out Pickle calling off the jam for Junction City
DJ Rich Nice. Need a DJ? No. You need an amazing DJ who's guaranteed to bring high energy to your event. Find DJ Rich Nice on Facebook and drop him a line. DJ Rich Nice, the official mix master of the Slaughter County Roller Vixens. We've got Wonder Dread on the line for Emerald City up against Malibu Harpy for Junction City. Malibu Harpy gets around the front of the pack. She's picked up lead jammer. Junction City in the black tops, Emerald City in the green tops. Pack advantage right now favoring Junction City. And no room at the end, so it looks like Lady Bullseye tries to go into the penalty box and she is waved on by. The jam ends, it looks like four points awarded and we're down to nine points between the two teams. Very much still anybody's game this early on. We've got about a little less than 16 minutes left here in this first period. Beatrix on the line for Junction City up against Psychotic Rage for Emerald City. Emerald City starting off on that powerful power jam for 29 points. And the last few jams, Junction City's been trying to chip away to get back into this one. Lead jammer going to Beatrix of Junction City. Back into the pack again for her scoring pass. Little stumble over the pack there, but she is through, and that's five-point grand slam for Junction City. Psychotic Rage is now through on her initial pass. Four on two in the pack, Genesis Osin and T Natural Roll, the two lone green defenders. Beatrix gets knocked to the inside and decides she's had enough of that jam and we're going to reset for another one. So we'll start the next jam with one green blocker in the box. That's 270 Lady Bullseye. And on the track for the Skates of Phoenix 26-2 is Wonder Dread. She's out there against 821. That's Pickle for Junction City. Wonder Dread picks up lead jammer for Emerald City. Pickle not terribly far behind. Still in a three on four pack advantage to Junction City. And Emerald doing a great job in the pack of sweeping a lane there for Wonder Dread to get through. We got some bodies flying in turn two, Mistress Mouth. Derby girls are very aerodynamic and oftentimes tend to defy the laws of physics. Like lawn darts? Kind of, but with better fishnets. But um bum all right, on the line for the Skates of Phrenics number 11, and that is T Natural. She immediately puts a hit on Malibu Harpy for Junction City. And our call is back block. Thank you very much, Mr. Official. And that puts Junction City on the power jam and down by seven, Mistress Mouth. And they've got a full penalty box. Power Jam Junction City. I sense a lead change coming up. Cherry Von Sin on the last pass, opening up a huge lane on the inside for Malibu Harpy. And once again, sealing off the inside. She makes it look easy out there, Mistress Mouth. A, a little bit, yeah. She sees her opening on the inside, gets around that last blocker. And that's another five point grand slam on the board for Junction City. We definitely have a lead change, ladies and gentlemen. If you have a drink, take a sip. And we've got a team timeout for Emerald City. Time for a little information here. Our featured charity this year, the Sally Santana Funds for the Homeless. 
The voice of the homeless in Kitsap County, Sally Santana, is known for the, in the community for her faith and values column that ran in the Kitsap Sun every other Saturday and for the volunteer work she did, primarily in the areas of hunger and homelessness. She spent a good deal of her childhood and youth living in those conditions, and when she was able, she was dedicated to helping her neighbors and wider community. Help us honor this amazing woman and, crusade, and the crusade she fought for. We challenge you to help us slaughter homelessness in Kitsap County. Please check out the booth set up right over here this direction in the venue to find out what you can do to help out with those less fortunate. And we also have Pivot Star, who has provided us with the following, Pivot Star now makes uniforms, comfortable athletic shirts that don't snag on Velcro, which would be amazing because a lot of uniforms do snag on Velcro. Try one on today at the Pivot Star booth and get entered to win $50 to spend at PivotStar.com. Pivot Star Alternative Athletic Apparel. Beatrix in the Power Jam for Junction City. And that's number 11, T Natural Roll for the Skates of Frenix. She powers her way through on the inside. And the call is forearms, so apparently too powerful. T Natural Roll going to the box for one minute. Junction City on the power jam. And again, Emerald City with a full penalty box. Ouch, Beatrix. Shoved to the inside, gets recycled to the back. It's going to give it another go. Only two blockers to get around, but she gets pushed out again and decides she's had enough of that, and she's going to call it off. And that would be Rex Havoc, number 83 for Emerald City, showing us how a two-person wall can defeat a four-person wall. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. Junction City once again is calling on 821. That is Pickle. Pickle's only got two blockers to get around, and she does so, picking up lead jammer. Ogden now out of the penalty box for Emerald City. Nice job blocking by Junction City, keeping Ogden from joining up with the rest of her blockers. And that's a five-point Grand Slam on the board for Pickle. The Skates of Phoenix now all together. And <laughs> calling off the jam is Pickle. Fingers Duke is more than your average screen printing company. They are a collection of awesome creative personalities working together. They utilize their diverse selection of talented professional artists, designers, and illustrators to provide the best and most original cutting-edge solutions for the client's needs. Fingers Dukes likes a challenge. They're open to accepting any and all projects within their reach. So even if you think your ideas are crazy, hit them up and don't be afraid to ask. They offer their services for the creation of logos, t-shirts, graphics, posters, flyers, album covers, skateboards, as well as photography and website design. Basically, anything you're after, they will do their best to meet your needs. Check out fingersduke.com. All right, as we get back to the action, number 310 is Malibu Harpy for Junction City. Black shirts, Junction City. Green shirts are Emerald City. And... Malibu Harpy made her way all the way around. She's back inside the pack, attempting to pick up points. And right now she's one-on-one -on -one with Rex Havoc. She doesn't like what she sees with Boylan getting close to the pack and calls off the jam, Mistress Mouth. Junction City definitely taking their lead a little bit further and further every jam. But we've got a two-on-three pack advantage to Emerald City this time around. Beatrix taking on Wonder Dread. 48 is Emerald City. 73 is Junction City. We're down to 926 in this first half. And both jammers off to a little bit of a slow start. 
as the walls are high and hard. Getting through first is Beatrix for lead jammer, Junction City. Wonder Dread now through on her initial pass as well, and Beatrix just getting knocked around in the pack, but she makes it through. She calls off the jam, putting four more points on the board. All right, so following this bout, we have more bouts, which is kind of cool. More derby. All right, we've got Arc Valley High Rollers versus Calgary Roller Derby Association at 9.15. And also at 8.45, we have Kitsap Derby Brats versus Foco Spartan Babes. Pickle jamming again for Junction City up against Psychotic Rage for Emerald City. Pickle wide open there right up the middle. No pass, no penalty though. She is not lead jammer. That has gone to Psychotic Rage and we now have a jammer race. Psychotic Rage doing a great job of working the inside of the track to make space in front of Pickle as they both sprint towards the pack and Psychotic Rage doesn't like what she sees and calls off the jam. Emerald City all walled up in the back. Time for a re-rack. Let's try that one again. It's the fifth year of the Wild West Showdown. We want to thank our hosts, the Slaughter County Roller Vixens, for making this happen. It is a very nice location, and we've got 24-ish teams here, both juniors and women's. And boy, let me tell you, some of that junior action today going on over in track two, that has just been phenomenal roller derby. The, the, the drive and passion of these young girls, they get knocked down, they get up crying, but they still keep on trucking. That is just, it's a beautiful thing. There's a couple that look like they're 14 going on joining a local women's league within the next couple weeks. But we probably shouldn't let that happen. There's something about insurance and laws and stuff. <laughs> Washington Health Plan Finder. Speaking of insurance, wow, I really picked up on that. Washington Health Plan Finder, a new way to help you find, compare, and select quality health insurance plan that's right for you, your family, and your budget. More people than ever before are now eligible for low-cost or free health insurance. Middle-income and low-income individuals and families generally do qualify. Health Plan Finder is the only way you can access these savings. Go to wahealthplanfinder.org or check out the booth over here to my left. Go chat them up. For those of you at home, she waved to her left when she said, my left. All right, we've got Emerald City, the Skates of Phrenix, green tops at 48. Junction City is at 77 in black shirts. We're down to 738 in the first half. Emerald City came on very fast in the first four or five minutes with a power jam that was 29 points. Junction City chipped their way back in and then surpassed Emerald City. And so we've definitely had some momentum shift. Little clarification on that ref official review. They were just discussing points, making sure everyone's on the same page, crossing their I's and dotting their T's and meow, meow, meow. All of you cats that were on the live stream, that was for you so you'd understand what was going on here at the track site. We have 310 for Junction City, Malibu Harpy. And she is on the track against Emerald City's Wonder Dread. Some huge hits going into turn one. And Malibu Harpy near the front of the pack. And Lee Jammer, Junction City. Malibu Harvey looking to widen that lead for Junction City. 
but with a two on four pack advantage to Emerald City, she's got her work cut out for her. Wonder Dread now through on her initial pass. All right, and Malibu Harpy signaling to her blockers to get trucking as she got close to the pack, and it, it appears that she called it off before points were awarded, Mr. Smouth. Excellent communication between the, the jammer and her blockers there, telling them what she needs. And this says it's a Sunday schedule, but I think that our Sunday starts a little bit sooner than that. The duster. Tomorrow morning, 9, let's make it 8.30 a.m., Rocky Mountain Roller Punks versus San Fernando. That was with a F, Fernando Valley Junior Derby against Rocky Mountain Roller Punks, and that's at 8.30. And then at 9, Junction City Roller Dolls against Arc Valley High Rollers. These poor Junction City gals have to get up bright and early after this. And jamming right now for Junction City is Beatrix and Boylan for Emerald City. And picking up a grand slam, five points, is Boylan for Emerald City. Bringing the score to 53 for Green Tops, Emerald City, 82, Junction City and Black with 555 left in the half. Lots of activity going on over in the penalty box. Both team with teams with two blockers serving their time. Each team with only two blockers out on the floor and they're trying to position themselves accordingly. Pickle falls quickly in psychotic rage, picks up lead jammer. Making that happen was number 51, Coop, one of the captains for Emerald City, just lowering the boom on Pickle. Pickle go boom. I thought that was the dynamite. Psychotic rage all the way through the pack. And she picks up four points before calling it off. In the last two jams, Emerald City picking up nine to jump back in the middle of this one, Mr. Smouth. They are certainly not out of it by any means. And we've got just less than five minutes left in this first period. And then a whole other 30 minutes to go. So it could go either way. Once again, the Schizophrenics calling on Wonder Dread to wear the star, and she's out there against Malibu Harpy. Malibu Harpy, I'm not sure if she has lungs or just some sort of mechanical instruments inside her chest. She's been out there just about every other jam, Mr. Smouth. She has a constitution made of mithril. Thank you for the Marvel Comics reference. One person on the planet probably got that. Hopefully besides me. That was Boylan out there for Emerald City on the next jam. And she's out there against Beatrix for Junction City. Pack advantage favoring Junction City right now. As I count one blocker, it's Ogden out there for Emerald City. And she's got her work cut out for her. She knocks Beatrix out of bounds, the one blocker on the track, forcing the recycle on Beatrix. That is striving in the face of diversity, ladies and gentlemen. Ogden with a brilliant block to set up this play and going to the box was Boylan, which means that Beatrix is the only jammer out there for Junction City's power jam. Emerald City setting up a wall, but Beatrix just ducks right low and goes right around the outside. Five-point grand slam for Beatrix. This time around, Zonia and the Barbarian trying to line her up, but T Natural with a huge hit to put her down on her tuchus in the middle of the track. She took it like a champ, called it off, said, no, we're going to do this again. All right, once again, Green Tops, Emerald City at 57. Black Tops, Junction City at 90. We're down to 230. 
remaining in this, the first half. And I believe for the first time this evening, 777 Colonel Skirts out there for Junction City. Still on the power jam is Junction City and a huge hit delivered there by Lady Bullseye in turn one. But she makes it through and Colonel Skirts takes her lead jammer position. Little plow stop there into the pack and to take it nice and easy. And working left and right is Colonel Skirts Coop out there, and I believe it's Rex Havoc playing defense. But getting through for five is Colonel Skirts. Boylan now out of the penalty box and through on her initial pass. Just as Colonel Skirts just drifts through the pack, calls off the jam. No points allowed to Emerald City on that one. And Junction City hits the triple digit mark, 100 points for Junction City. Let's hear from the Junction City fans out there. All right, that's pretty good, but I know we've got a lot of Team Oregon in the house. If you're here to check out Emerald City, let's make some noise for the Skates of Phoenix. And that just fueled the fire for Pickle there, who picks up lead jammer for Junction City. Wonder Dread now through on her initial pass. Pickle Pick out there against T Natural and Ogden at the front of the pack. Ogden pushing her outside, and she stays on one skate and calls off the jam after picking up four points. Sherry Vonson on her way to the penalty box as well. And we are going to get ready for another one here. We, I believe, looks like we've got time for one more. This is our 27th jam of the first half. And out there for Emerald City, 123 is Psychotic Rage. Out there against 310, that's Malibu Harpy. Psychotic Rage doing a great job of nudging Malibu Harpy straight into the middle of the track. And now a call... Back blocking on Psychotic Rage, Power Jam Junction City. This is exactly how they want to end this first period. Malibu Harpy wearing the star. It's a two wall for both teams. So not a lot of skaters on the track. We'll see what happens to Malibu Harpy as she hits that wall. She makes her way around Zone and the Barbarians backside for five. The period clock has run down, therefore it is all up to Malibu Harpy at this time when she calls it off. She's going to try to take home just a few more points before the end of this first period. Rex Havoc with a hit, Zona and the Barbarian with a hit, and getting through is Malibu Harpy. She gets another five-point pass for Junction City. All the blockers coming back, all the blockers. And we have a lost toe stop of Malibu Harpy, so she decides that's going to be enough for this first period. And after 30 minutes of play, we've got Junction City with the lead, 114 to Emerald City, 57. We're going to take a 10-minute break, and we will be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready for the second half of play between the Emerald City Roller Girls and the Junction City Roller Dolls. Right now, line up for the Skates of Phrenics from Emerald City. Number 10, Genesis Osen. Number 11, T Natural. Number 123, Psychotic Rage. Number 1771, Gemini. 262 is Wonder Dread. 270 is Lady Bullseye. 462 is Pirate Booty. 51 is Coop. Seven is Ogden. 77 is Agent Orange. 828 is Zonan the Barbarian. 83 is Rex Havoc. Number 94 is Red Ruckus. Number 96 is Boylan. These are the Emerald City Roller Girls Skates of Phrenics. 
And skating for Junction City Roller Dolls, we've got Triple Zero Tic Tac Flow, number 13, Mel Fister, number 1986, Cherry Von Sin, number 23, Vulgar Vixen, number 253, Mayhem Miller, number 3, Slayer Cake, number 310, Malibu Harpy, 329, Rolex, 338, Beatrix, number 49, Canadian Bacon, number 603, Lady Shatterly, number 777, Colonel Skirts, and 820. Pickle. These are your Junction City Roller Dolls. 70, 777 is Colonel Skirt. She picks up two points before calling off the first jam of the second half. Reminding everyone once again, green is Emerald City. Those are green tops at 57. Junction City is in black tops. They were at 120. And we're down to 2909 in this second half. Pickle back up on the jam line for Junction City up against 828. That is Zonan the Barbarian. I am HP Chefcraft. I'm excited to be here with you. I'm joined by um, the talented. I'm Mistress Mouth. And super intelligent Mistress Mouth. Super Yet duper. Declining by the moment. It's been a long day. If I just start rambling, just shut off my microphone. No points picked up on that jam, and we're at 28-24. Emerald City calling on 262. That's Wonder Dread wearing the star. She's out there against 310. That's Malibu Harpy for Junction City. Both jammers in the heavy rotation for their respective teams. Mistress Mouth. Three on four pack advantage to Emerald City. Junction City with a blocker in the penalty box. Wonder Dread gets recycled to the back of the pack. Malibu Harpy up against a solid three wall just getting knocked around, knocked to the inside. And that provides an opportunity for Emerald City to grab lead Jamber, courtesy of Wonder Dread. And a track cut picked up by Malibu Harpy. She goes to the box. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of Emerald City, it's time to make some noise! And not to be outdone, who's here cheering for Junction City Roller Dolls? Five points picked up. That's 10 total for Wonder Dread as Emerald City taking advantage of this power jam opportunity. And she slides into the side legal blocking zone of a blocker for Junction City. I believe that was Lady Shatterly knocking her to the ground. She takes a huge shot to the chest but keeps on skating. 15 points make it 20 so far on the jam for Wonder Dread as Emerald City surging early here in the second half. Wonder Dread gets knocked out of bounds right here in front of our announcer table and decides to call off the jam, picking up three more points for Emerald City. The total for Wonder Dread on the jam, 23 points, ladies and gentlemen. Bringing them up to within only 40 points of the lead at this time. Lots of time left, and Emerald City is not giving up on this one just yet. The power jam continues here as number 96 is boiling for Emerald City. She has two blockers to beat at the front, and she's knocked down. Middle of the track and recycled to the back of the pack. Malibu Harvey out of the penalty box and into the pack. She's getting knocked around in the back. They say, you shall not pass. Some excellent walling going on right now for Emerald City as they try to shut down Malibu Harpy. And going to the box is Boylan, which means that the power jam is now with Junction City. I believe that was a blocking out of bounds penalty. T Natural out in front. And bridging now as Gemini puts the hits on Malibu Harpy. She's out of the pack 
not the lead jammer, and that means that this jam will probably go until its natural conclusion. Malibu Harvey just getting shoved around. Knocked down, out of bounds, recycled back. She's going to do it again. And she sees her opening, breaks through. And that's five points on the board for Junction City. On that last pass, Coop knocking Malibu Harpy out of bounds, forcing her to recycle. And it's pack advantage favoring Junction City with one of those green blockers in the box. Malibu Harpy goes up on toe stops to avoid getting pushed out of bounds, but she gets pushed to the outside instead. Recycled back yet again. Only two Emerald City blockers to get around. She gets through. That's five more points for Junction City. Boylan out of the penalty box and sent right back in again for a, a forearm penalty. That's going to be the end of that jam. Let's talk about Flat Track Revolution. FlatTrackRevolution.com. FTR is run by Ringer and Slabia Major out of Oakland, California and Portland, Oregon. Ringer and Slabia are both skaters and total derby freaks and design geeks. Fueled by their two passions, they created FTR to revolutionize derby apparel. FlatTrackRevolution.com, Mistress Mouth. They have some pretty neat stuff. Check them out over in Vendor Alley if you're over that way. What's going on over at track two right now? Track two, we've got, that would be, I think that's I-5 still going on over there. I-5 versus San Fernando Valley. More junior action going on. Yep, that's definitely I-5 in San Fernando. We also remind everyone about Fast Girls Skates, the first physical storefront specializing in roller derby equipment is owned and operated by Rat City Roller Girls La Petite Mort and Wiley Piote. FastGirlSkates.com Those of you joining us at home, Emerald City is in green. Okay. Junction City is in black. It's 80 for Emerald City. It's 130 for Junction City and we're down to 23.52 remaining in the bout. Little update from next door, winding down to the very end over there. I-5 in the lead, significantly from what I understand. Colonel Skirts trying to get through on the inside and she takes a hit from Rex Havoc. Keeps on rolling for five points, Junction City. Psychotic Rage picking up a track cut she will go to the box, which means Rex Havoc is three on one on the track, trying to put the stops on this power jam for Colonel Skirts from Junction City. She avoids the hit from Emerald City and that's five more for Junction City. And again, three on one, Rex Havoc. Trying nice. to nice little spin move there through the little pack and she is she sees Boylan standing and she calls off the jam and this is day two of the Wild West showdown a very full schedule for today and tomorrow Friday was a partial day of bouts but all day Derby Saturday, all day Derby Sunday. You can definitely check us out on track one and two. It's live streaming all weekend long. I believe that's courtesy of Blaze Media. All right, report from next door. I-5334 and the San Fernando Valley 266. So quite a win there by I-5. Congratulations, girls. All right, and rolling here for five. That's Beatrix, who's made her way through for Junction City, and she's going for it again. And Boylan, number 96, back on the track for Emerald City. Beatrix calling off the jam with another five-point pass. 
So 10 points on the jam, and that takes our score to 80. Emerald City 160, Junction City with 2135. Junction City really running away with it in the last several jams here. But we still have 20 minutes left to go. Pickle on the line for Junction City up against Zonan the Barbarian. And Zonan doing a good job of timing that whistle to get a little jump on. She's recycled. And getting out first is Pickle, 821 for Junction City. Oh, Pickle cutting through that pack like it's butter. She had a little apex hop there on the far end of the track. Zonan the Barbarian trying to make her way through that two wall on the outside. Meanwhile, Pickle picking up another five point pass and that is a grand slam. Zonan getting recycled back again. Vulgar Vixen being sent to the penalty box for direction of gameplay. And another five point grand slam on the board for Pickle. She's up to 15 on the jam. Zonan the Barbarian still trying to make her way through on turn one. She's getting some help from her friends in the pack and it's pack advantage even up actually. It's three on three inside the pack. So we've got one more bout here on this track after this. We've got Arc Valley High Rollers versus the Calgary Roller Derby Association. And then the event you've all been waiting for, tonight's after party, one of two after parties this weekend. Tonight at Sticks and Stones Billiard Hall. It's an all ages event, so bring your juniors. Come on down and join the fun at 2817 Wheaton Way here in Bremerton. I guess we're technically Silverdale. Getting back to the action, it's 3-1-0. Malibu Harpy out there for Junction City, but getting out first, 26-2, is Wonder Dread. She's your lead jammer for the Skates of Frenix, and that is a fast pack that she's trying to catch up to. She does a great job of changing her levels and getting past the last line of defense to pick up four for Emerald City. They're still in it. They're going to try to take every single point they can all the way to the very end. And we've got Beatrix on the line for Junction City up against Ogden, jamming for, I believe, her first time this evening. And we have pack advantage Emerald City. Ogden works her way around the outside. Now she's got two blockers still to get around. She's just pushing, pushing, pushing. Runs out the pack, picks up lead jammer to Emerald City. That was Colonel Skirts playing that backwards defense there against Ogden. She's trying to get out of turn two and recycled. She doesn't have to recycle. They're saying no pass, no penalty. Five points awarded to Ogden. We have a power jam for Emerald City. Beatrix in the penalty box, serving her time. I think that was for cutting the track. Ogden it was a cutting the track penalty, thank you. Ogden doing a good job of keeping her skates as she made her way through for five. She's up to 10 so far on the jam. Emerald City needing these points to get back into the middle of the bout. She pushes and pushes, gets through one more time, calls off the jam. That's five more points on the board for Emerald City. So close to triple digits. Emerald City 99, Junction City 177. And once again, we want to talk about Green Monster, G-R-N-M-N-S-T-R dot com. Green Monster Roller Sport is a skate company whose total focus is to produce fresh ideas and innovative product design to the roller skating market. You can catch them online at greenmonster.com. Wonder Dread picking up lead jammer 
for Emerald City. End of the power jam as Beatrix is out of the penalty box and in to that very scrum pack going on down there between turn two and, or one and two. Pushing, 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 and she gets through. Lead jammer to Wonder Dread. And that's a grand slam for Wonder Dread and the Skates of Frenix. Colonel Skirts and Wonder Dread getting to know each other a little bit better in turn four. She gets back on her skates. And that's the end of the jam, just as Beatrix comes up to the back. Three points for Wonder Dread on that one. Our green shirts are the Skates of Phrenix from Eugene. Our black shirts are the train wrecks from Ogden, Utah. We have 107 Emerald City, 177 Ford Junction City, 1535 remaining in the bout. And Pickles picked up Lee Jammer yet again for Junction City. And there goes Zonin the Barbarian through on her initial pass. Tic Tac Flow on her way to the penalty box and Pickle calls off the jam. Picking up three more points for Junction City. And back to the line for Eugene is Ogden. She is side by side with 310. That is Malibu Harpy for Junction City. Ogden with a quick pop on Malibu Harpy as she bounces to the outside, but Malibu Harpy gets out first for lead jammer at Junction City. Jammer race here. Three on two pack advantage to Emerald City. And now Junction City has one blocker. Thankfully that's the end of the jam and we can sort out this mess. All right, Beatrix out there for Junction City. She is opposed by 262 that's wonder dread for emerald city and a few filtering out of the penalty box there but there goes wonder bread picking up lead jammer for emerald city beatrix not very far behind pack is picking up pace That was a very fast pack. They look like an Olympic paced pack. And uh, we want to remind everyone about Crazy Skates, crazyskateco.com. The Crazy Skate Company is dedicated to providing innovative skating products and apparel with the very latest technology in manufacturing. They're designed and manufacturers of roller inline and ice skating products. Crazyskateco.com. That's right, we've got Pickle jamming for Junction City up against Zonan the Barbarian. Pickle picks up lead jammer. Working very hard to hold onto that lead for Junction City. Zonan the Barbarian now through on her initial pass and here comes Pickle back up into the pack. A solid four wall of blocker she's trying to squeeze through. She gets knocked out of bounds right in front of us and calls off the jam. Picking up four more points, no, three points. Meanwhile, Zone and the Barbarian puts up four of her own. That was Pirate Booty with the big hit on the boundary, sending Pickle flying. And Wonder Dread out there for Emerald City. She is side by side with 310. That's Malibu Harpy for Junction City. Wonder Dread goes to the outside and gets up towards the front of the pack first. She gets knocked to the inside, is going to get recycled back. As, and meanwhile, Malibu Harpy picking up lead jammer for Junction City. And 
and it is Pack Advantage Emerald City as Wonder Dread tries to make her way out the front, and she does. Very fast moving pack again here. Slayer Cake trying to get up with her other blockers. Malibu Harpy's had enough, she calls off the jam. Rex Havoc with a nudge at the end of the jam to encourage Malibu Harpy to call it quits there. Emerald City green shirts 114, Junction City black tops 183. We have 11.04 remaining on the clock. So many great bouts, so many awesome teams this weekend. It is both women and juniors skating here. And we've seen great action on both tracks, both Friday and today. And we've got another whole day to go, Mistress Mouth. That's right. And now we've got Beatrix jamming for Junction City up against Zonin the Barbarian, who gets recycled all the way to the back while Beatrix picks up lead jammer for Junction City. Zonin the Barbarian still trying to muscle her way through the pack, just getting knocked around. She's through now on her initial pass. And Beatrix gets through on a scoring pass and calls off the jam. Four points for Junction City. Agent Orange with the hit and then Boylan following up to make sure that that jam got called off when they wanted it to be. Good use of clock management there. And back on the line for Emerald City, number seven, Ogden. A more recent addition in this second half to the jammer rotation. She's out there against 821. That's Pickle for Junction City. Oh, some fancy footwork there by Ogden to stay upright. And she grabs lead jammer. And now Pickle's out of the pack. Three wall in front, anchored by Colonel Skirts for Junction City. And Ogden calls off the jam but she gets three points on the pass, which Emerald City can definitely use. Every single one of them, ladies and gentlemen. Wonderbird back on the line for Emerald City up against Malibu Harpy for Junction City. And they're off. Oh, knocked over was Wonder Dread there right off the line, but she takes it in stride and right back up again, picking up lead jammer Malibu Harpy, still trying to get around number 123, Psychotic Rage. 462, Pirate Booty in the mix, but she's through now on her initial pass. Wonder Dread going to one skate, doing a great job of keeping her balance, picking up points. You know, the Cherry City Derby girls want to do a quick shout out for Lucy Skates with Diamonds. She injured her wrist Friday night in warm ups, and um, unfortunately, she broke her wrist. We want to make sure that she's healing up. So, much love and warm wishes to Lucy Skates with Diamonds. And we have an official review courtesy Junction City. Fingers Duke is more than your average screen printing company. They are a collection of awesome creative personalities working together. They utilize their diverse selection of talented professional artists, designers, and illustrators to provide the best and most original cutting edge solutions for their clients' needs. Fingers Dukes likes a challenge. They're open to accepting any and all projects within their reach. So even if you think your ideas are crazy, hit them up and don't be afraid to ask. They offer their services for the creation of logos, t-shirts, graphics, posters and flyers, album covers, skateboards, as well as photography and website design. Basically, anything you're after, they'll do their best to meet your needs. Check them out over in Vendor Alley or visit them at fingersduke.com. For those of you at home, Emerald City is at 119 in green shirts. Junction City is in black shirts at 187, and we've got 812 on the clock. Junction City challenging points awarded to 
the Emerald City Jammer on that last one. A newer team in the Salem area, we want to do a quick shout out to Salem Men's Roller Derby. Their mascot is the Possum, and they are hopeful of being a future MRDA team in Salem, Oregon. And the dispute was over the whether or not the blocker picked up a point before she went out of bounds, and the point stands as previously called. Mayhem Miller on the line for Junction City, I believe, at the first time this bout. Up against Ogden, back on the line for Emerald City. Junction City with some very strong defense all bout long, and Emerald City trying to penetrate that right now. Colonel Skirts anchoring that front wall. Ogden trying to find a left or right side that she can slip through. Excellent, excellent blocking going on here by Emerald City. Holding Mayhem Miller to the very back of the pack. And she's recycled by Lady Bullseye with that cleanup hit after Coop started the shot. Emerald City playing whistle to whistle. That's how you wear a jammer down. You just keep holding her, holding her, holding her, and she's just next. All right, we've... <laughs> On the line for Emerald City, we have 26-2. That's Wonder Dread. And she's out there against 821. That is Pickle for Junction City. Wonder Dread lead jammer. Pickle also out of the box. Here comes Wonder Dread. Quickly making her way through the pack. Picking up four points for Emerald City. Calling it off. We can do this four points at a time. That might be their master plan. We want to remind everyone about Toad House Pizza Beer Garden. If you're over 21, head on over to the beer garden and say hi to the boys from Toad House Pizza. That's Toad House Pizza Beer Garden, which is to our left and above the announcing area. Cold beverages are prepared for you. I like cold beverages. All right, wearing the star for Junction City is 310. That's Malibu Harpy. And she is out there against 828. That's Zonan the Barbarian for Emerald City. Fantastic blocking going on by both teams right now. Neither jammer is being able to get through the pack. We have an empty box, so all of the blockers on the track. Psychotic Rage recycling Malibu Harpy into the back of the pack. And Zonan the Barbarian out, but not the lead jammer. And there's a signal from the pack that a track cut was forced, and it was. A track cut was forced on Malibu Harpy, which means Emerald City is going to go on the power jam. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're a fan of the schizophrenics, it's time to make some noise! And who out there is cheering for the Junction City Roller Dolls? All right, picking up five points there is Zonan the Barbarian. Emerald City trying to make the most of this power jam.
just pushing, pushing, pushing yet again. Oh, and knocks her down. Everyone getting tired this late in the game. It looked like Volker Vixen with maybe a, a forearm or a shot. To, it was a forearm. It was a forearm, uh, which is not a legal contact zone. There's an after party tomorrow night, too. It will be at McLeod's Grill House. There's going to be karaoke, dancing, and alcohol. And a party bus available to shuttle people to and from the clouds to the Baymont until 2 a.m. Drinking is fun, but don't drink and drive, ladies and gentlemen. Wonder Dread is our lead jammer for Emerald City. And she picked up a back block. A back block. She'll go to the box for a minute, Malibu Harpy back on the track. And she is taking some shots from those schizophrenic defenders, recycled into the middle of the pack. And it's a three wall of schizophrenics that is holding Malibu Harpy in check. Wow, that definitely took some power to finally break through. Malibu Harpy wants to take advantage of this power jam. Just a little more than two minutes left on the game clock. There's five point grand slam for Malibu Harpy. Two wall right now for Emerald City. So working hard at the front. It looks like it's Coop. And I believe that's Genesis Osen. And some friendly blocking action going on there as Coop sends Genesis Osen into the middle of Malibu Harpy's chest. Genesis Osen hitting her once again, recycled to the back. And these two blockers are doing a stalwart job of holding the front against Malibu Harpy. And here comes Wonder Dread back in the mix. Junction City blockers were doing a great job. They're keeping the Emer two Emerald City blockers from being able to run Malibu Harpy way back. Keeping that time short that she had to get back into the pack. But that jam is over. It was exhausting to watch. <laughs> I suspect it was much harder to skate, but I understand what you're saying. Again, that's why I'm an announcer. <laughs> 140, Green Tops, Emerald, Junction City, 201, Black Tops. Mayhem Miller jamming for Junction City up against Ogden, back on the line for Emerald City. We have some folks filtering out of the penalty box. Ogden through now, picking up lead jammer for Emerald City. Mayhem Miller getting held up in the pack, recycled to the back. Here comes Ogden yet again, trying to get around a solid three wall of Junction City blockers. A lot of back and forth. Oh, and we've got Mayhem Miller on her way to the penalty box for cutting the track. Power Jam Emerald City! All right, and it appears that there was an effort at the end of time to get a timeout, and we don't know yet whether or not that was received. The game clock reads zero, and it would be a power jam for Emerald City if they indeed got it in time, Mr. Smouth. Looks like they did roll the clock back to two seconds. For that time out, Emerald City giving it one more go at this. Still giving Junction City a run for their money. All right, right now, let's make some noise for Wonder Dread and the Emerald City blockers. Last jam of the bout, ladies and gentlemen.
145 Emerald City, Junction City 201. This is the last opportunity for Emerald City to jump back. Next whistle starts the last jam, ladies and gentlemen. Doesn't matter who you're cheering for, but let's hear it for these roller girls. Wonder Dread at the front of the pack and she breaks through. She's got lead jammer, Emerald City. And she is making good time around the track. She evades a block at the front. She's out against a two wall and she makes it through on the outside for a five point pass, Emerald City. She is going to run this jam as long as she can, picking up as many points here at the end. Nice, strong finish here for Emerald City in this one. Recycled, she takes another shot at that front wall. Colonel Skirts pushing her out of bounds. Emerald City playing a passive offense right now, providing Wonder Dread with an opportunity to stretch that blocking core for Junction City, and she picks up another five. Ten points on the jam, Mistress Mouth. Wonder Dread knocked to the inside is going to get recycled back. Mayhem Miller out of the penalty box, working her way through the pack. She's got one more to get around. She, that's her initial pass. She's going to haul around. Wonder Dread says, you know, that's it. No points for Junction City on that last one. But 14 total points for Emerald City in that very last jam. Now, of course... We are going to wait for the official score. Don't forget, while we're waiting for that official score, coming up next right away, Arc Valley High Rollers versus the Calgary Roller Derby Association coming up in about 20 minutes. Do not go away. We've still got Kids Up Derby Brats taking on the FOCO Spartan Babes next door. And we got all kinds of derby happening tomorrow. Be back here bright and early. Looks like we've got Junction City taking their victory lap. Let's give a round of applause for the Junction City Roller Dolls. All right, ladies and gentlemen, all the way from Eugene, Oregon, please help me to make some noise for ECRG Skates of Phoenix. HP Shovecraft, it's been a pleasure announcing another fine, lovely bout with you today. Fine and lovely, Mistress Mouth, indeed. Thank you for the opportunity. We have 159 unofficially for Emerald City, unofficially 201 for Junction City. The clock has officially expired, however. That is official. And perhaps I'll see you yet again tomorrow. We hope all of you stay tuned as we continue to stream all weekend long from right here live at the Wild West Showdown. Can't beat Derby from the comfort of your couch now, can ya? Good night, ladies and gentlemen. Stay tuned for the next bout.